walking in right now to get checked in the triage. We're not bringing our bags yet. We're gonna ask, you know, like when it's best to bring it in or if I need to just hurry up and come back and get stuff. But, cause I'm, we're not even too sure if we can go in and out, but either way, that's where we're going. All right, I'm going to grab the bags right now. Lord have mercy. Darius just went to grab the bags. I am in triage with my lovely hospital gown and I'm just waiting to be seen. I have to get a cold test. Got my babies hooked up. Both my babies. I got a COVID test and I did not like it. <laughs> I did not like it. I did not like it. <laughs> It's 12.30 in the morning, pretty 12, much. It's 12.30 in the morning, apparently. So I guess I'll keep you updated. So right now it is 6.30 in the morning. Me and Darius actually both just took a little bit of a nap. Our TV is broken, <laughs> like the remote. So we haven't really been recording because we like blasted the volume and we couldn't turn it down. So they came in about an hour ago, so about 2.30 took my monitors off and told me I could sleep for an hour before they'd come back in and put them back on. And then they would do that. They'd continue to give me a break to be able to actually sleep. Just sleeping with monitors on actually is really hard. I do have my ID, which I think is disgusting. I hate it. Ugh. It feels really weird. I don't like it. Um, but that's right now. I'm cramping, but besides that, she stopped moving. Uh, right after they took her like off the monitor, she like calmed down a bit, but I am cramping, but I'm only cramping on one side, so she'll probably be in here in the next couple minutes or so, and then we'll see what the next step is. I think I get another pill. Yeah, she said you get another one, I believe. Does I'm it that up. Because honestly, like as hard as it is to sleep just hang up, this bed is not completely flat, like level when I like lay it down, so I'm probably just gonna fall asleep with this. Yeah. That's not. Oh. oh, yeah, she has to be in a bowl, yeah. And it's really hard. Good morning. It is 7 30. I just got my blood pressure medicine. Um, what even happened? We fell asleep for a while. I don't know when the last time I updated you. And by a while, I mean like we fell asleep for an hour and it was the best hour. Um, my nurse has switched and this one is super nice. The other one was super nice too. Um, we are going to give me another miso at 8.30, but my body is contracting by itself, which is nice. It was contracting in the middle of the night, but it was contracting too much. So they stopped it. Um, so hopefully they don't do that again. Yeah, they gave her, they allow more IV to flow through. Yeah, nurse. which is, I feel like that one's going so slow. Um, I hate my IV, it's so uncomfortable. And they had to try three times. And my arm hurts because the other two spots they like tried are like super tender. So I'm gonna get the Foley Ball after I get my third miso. Hopefully my cervix, that's what I forgot to tell you guys. They tried to put a Foley Ball in, was not happening. Like I, it my, I'm only dilated a fingertip, which I think is like half a centimeter. Yeah, probably. Um, so we're just kind of taking slow. I can't eat anything. I'm so hungry. Darius is about to go downstairs and get food, though. No, I like an hour. They did let me eat um, a snack, and I had, like, a handful of animal crackers. But we ate dinner at, like, 7. So it's been 12 hours since I've eaten, like, real meals. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I had to put on chapstick because my lips are so dry. It's so dry in here. Also, it was, like, 60 degrees in here. It was freezing. I was shaking, so they had to turn the heat up. So we are right now. What about you, Dad? Your update? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm doing okay. I but that's that's not. I don't really matter today at this time. <laughs> it's about her and the baby. But I'm, I'm doing all right. I fell asleep a few times. She fell asleep. 
Um, again, I'm gonna get some food in like an hour. I just feel bad she can't eat, but we we already knew that, you know, like with all the stuff. I was hoping that they were gonna eat. You can't see me. You guys, okay. We're just hoping that this is such a great angle. I look so tempted. We're hoping they were gonna let me eat breakfast at least, but my body's starting to contract, so that's a no. Yeah. So hopefully things can move along. I mean, move along how they need to. We don't want to like rush things, of course. But um, I have a baby like in my arms by like two a.m. Right. Yeah, we don't want her going into like all day Saturday dealing with this. You know. What's up? I think you might be having another one. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if it's cramping because of the foley ball or if it's or because they tried. I've been cramping ever since I tried. Or if it's um. Well, did you cramp before too? But these are like really intense cramps. Hmm. Which I can't tell the difference between really intense cramps and practice because they're pretty much the same. Oh, yeah, breakfast for champions. We got I'm so excited. You so excited for this? Yeah. So I thought I was going to starve. Yeah, no, they ain't going to let you starve. I forgot they will bring you. Um, oh, this is sugar for coffee. But they brought her coffee, which I'm going to drink, um, and a small apple juice, but we're getting her bigger apple juice. And we got some vegetable broth under here as well. So, breakfast for a champion right here. She doing, she's doing a very great job, guys. All things considered, like this is probably, the, what's, what has been the worst thing so far that you had to deal with? The IV, the uh, Foley balloon? Probably, I don't know. If I would have an IV on the first try, it would have been that bad. Yeah, I feel you. The Foley ball though. Cause that's a, that's a thing on another level, I'm getting it in. Oh yeah, that broth, baby. <laughs> Hello, it's, 8.50, I just got my third dose of miso, which, or miso prostol, I think is what it's called. I think this might be my last. They haven't said anything about more than this, so the bully ball was over there. We're waiting a little while. They're gonna try to put it in. Last time it didn't go very well. So I just ate at breakfast. I had an orange jello, some vegetable broth, and an apple juice, and the jello was actually really freaking good. But yeah, Darius is playing video games. I'm going to just chill here for a little bit. She's not in the monitor anymore. So yeah, she keeps moving she keeps off moving. of it. She is so hard hit, but so, that's our child. Currently, almost 10 o'clock. It's 9.46. I've had three doses of miso, and I'm contracting by myself. Well, with the drugs. Uh, they haven't put the Foley bulb in. They're going to come around 10.30 and reevaluate me to see if they're going to put the Foley bulb in or if they're just going to move to the next step, which I'm assuming is Pitocin, which makes me nervous. Um, but, like, I just had my first, like, mild real contraction and holy shit that that hurt a little bit <laughs> that hurt a little bit so that's where we're at right now um i'm getting another jello cup and that's pretty much it so they just inserted the uh what's it called the, the foley ball foley ball foley ball foley bulb bulb um, which is a pretty much it's a manual it's a balloon yeah and they stick up there and then they fill it up with water and it like swells and they'll slowly pull on it over the next three hours so it's 10 46 right now or 10 45 so by like one o'clock or almost two o'clock um she'd be three centimeters like around there she said the cramping should get better in about um, 20 minutes Think is it contraction? I don't know, I think it's just pressure. Pressure? Yeah. She's doing a good job. Mm hmm. I just wanna have a baby, I don't wanna have a baby. <laughs> well you gotta have the baby to have the baby. No. Still manageable with just the cleansings, or you may need to try the other ones. You fine? I believe it. Same. It looks honestly the same. Well, before she pulled. So uh, she's standing up currently. I would show you like down, but um, her butt's out for there's one. Blood everywhere. Yeah, there's blood. Not everywhere. There's blood though. Slowly dripping out because of the. Um, the weak catheter. Yeah. So, how's your broth? Although it looked like it was brussing. It's the exact same broth I had for breakfast. 
<laughs> and it was busting this morning. And again, I'm assuming you don't want this cranberry juice. I just need a sip. I don't really like cranberry juice. I know you do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she's able to stand up because she has she's on a wireless monitor it's right apple now. Apple and cranberry. Ooh. Yeah, she's on a wireless monitor right now, which allows for her to be able to luckily uh, get up and it helps with the contractions and stuff like that. Again, I can't show you this angle because her butt cheeks will be out. And y'all ain't seen her cheeks. But, uh, that's nasty. It's nasty? Nasty as fuck. Oh. It ain't that great, but I'll drink it. It is 2.35. I can't read military time. It is 2.35. Um, my Foley ball just got pulled out. Uh, that was intense. I feel like the combination of Foley ball plus the contractions sucked. So I'm hoping now my contractions are a little bit more bearable. But we'll see. I think next step is Pitocin. Oh, and I'm three centimeters dilated. Hello. I just started Pitocin. It is... It's military time. It's, um, three, three o'clock. It's 2.59. So yeah, it's, it's three o'clock. Yeah, she's starting Pitocin. She's four, centi four centimeters. Four centimeters three, but dilated. 50% something. <laughs> <laughs> she's currently sleeping getting all the rest she can she's on pitocin level two now but if she can sleep through these it's obviously not bad so she's doing a great job still knock the fuck out But they just tried to break her water, but they want to give her a little bit longer before trying again. Did you want to say what you... Or no? I feel like I feel like something wrong. Like, every time I try to do something, I'm like, all right, we'll come back in a couple hours. And I feel like I'm just, like, resisting too much. But, like... No. That's not what it is, honey. Everything else has been pretty much fine and stuff. I don't think it's anything to do with you. I think it's honestly just... They... Just run into a little bit of a snag and stuff, so... Apparently, like... If I could still issue posterior for them to um, broke my water. Right now it is uh, five o'clock. I'm still on the wireless monitor though, and I can still take myself to the bathroom, which like relieves a whole bunch of my anxiety. So right. I'm okay for right now. Right. And she's on um, level six of pitocin. And how are you feeling with the contractions? Feel you don't feel anything still. She is having contractions like, though. A little bit, like. With the fully ball, it was so much, like so much pain. I don't feel anything now. It's weird. And with it, the amount of water that you get, and then like she would move her fingers and it would stop, and then she like move them back up, and they would just start gushing out. Well, if you just hurt that, she well, um, her water they was broke broken. My, they broke my water. It didn't break on its own. Right. So her contraction is uh, is going to get more intense. Are going to get more intense? Excuse yeah. me. Uh, she still is on Pitocin level 8. I didn't realize it could go up to level 20, even level 30 on special yeah, occasions. special occasions. Right. I'm nervous now. Yeah. The doctor's here till Sunday. Yes, that makes you feel better. And yeah. I was like, hey, like, who's here after you? And she said it, and I was just like... <laughs> but she said Sunday, so no worries yeah. on that. Three. You good? Is that? Yeah. We were doing the five, four, three, but um, we were doing it where I tell her the number to do for the breathing. The partner randomly tells you. Partner what? Randomly tells. Partner randomly tells you. Yeah. So I told her to do five, five again, and it was going to be three burger trash, and it did. So. Yeah. While you're not contracting, anything you want to say? I want an epidural. You want an epidural? You want me to request right now? I don't know. I might. Okay. 
we'll think on it a little bit longer. All right, Kiara is pretty much at the point where she requested um, an epidural. So um, they are gonna be taking care of that in just a moment. She's just using the restroom for the last time. Uh, but yeah, her contractions are getting pretty strong. Again, with Pitocin, it's a lot stronger than a natural contraction would be. So again, she made it this far, which was her goal is in a sense to make it to around four or five centimeters, which she could possibly even be six, but um, she, she got checked, I think like an hour and a half ago. Um, you're not supposed to check that often when after the water's broken, but regardless, uh, that is the current situation. And uh, pretty much, I think I'll turn it over to her pretty much once it starts working and stuff like that. All right, it is 3.20 in the morning. Uh, she is still, you know, pretty much just waiting it out. Again, she's obviously still in the epidural. Um, they did restart her Pitocin completely over. As you can see, she's on one. She, I think, reached a 12. Um, and she now has a catheter, all that stuff. She's trying to rest. Baby's heart rate was dropping. Yeah. I, it was dipping. The baby's heart rate was dipping, as she, I don't know if you guys would ever hear. Which they did not like. And they scared me for a little bit because they're like, there's a chance we're going to have to send you in for a um, C section. Yeah. Yep. So. But they called my doctor, and this is the plan. We're starting over, see if she can tolerate it, and that's where we are right now. Yes. Yeah, so far, so good. Everything seems to be balanced out, like at least as I've been staring, and the nurse just came in for a second. Um, C yeah. section, or epidural, do not take away all of the discomfort. Just a heads up. <laughs> but would 10 out of 10 recommend it? I think she said that like when I was like, it's like the same thing. I forgot what the hell you said earlier. You said something regarding the epidural. But again, um, everything seems to be all good so far. But I'm just waiting here back. She's, what, the last time she was checked, her cervix was 80%. Um, a face? A, a face? Still only five centimeters. Well, she's still only five centimeters. However, the more the cervix obviously thins out, that typically naturally, of course, will lead to dilation. But um, when you're induced, it's the opposite. When you're induced, it's the opposite. So it so should be it, dilating. It should be dilating and then thinning. Sorry. So mine is thinning and then it should dilate. Got it. Right. Well, um, that 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 hair net is looking awesome on you. Thank you. So. Oh, it's literally slipped off. Yeah, I was. I thought that was on purpose. No. It's coming down to her getting an actual C-section with Ez. So that's where she's headed in the moment. Once they're just assembling the team and stuff. Um, like I said, you just feel a little bit nauseous, obviously, with all this. That was not nauseous. That was straight. I'm going to throw up, but I caught it, so it's okay. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, Marty. She doesn't have to go to make you, and if she does, um, well, down a little bit, she'll um, only have to go for a little bit, and Darius will get to go with her. Yeah. Again, I'm, I mean, we'll see, because she's, in a sense, technically full term, but at the same time, she's not, you know, it's a whole bunch of factors. She's though. measuring small as well pregnancy, so there's a, definitely an increased risk, but we're hoping for the best. Oh yeah, of course. They, they, everything be taken awesome. care of. Yeah, we're just leaving all the stuff here, but I am obviously dressed up. Your hands are okay. It's a little bit of a bumpy ride. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's girl. Oh yeah, that. Okay, so it's been quite a few things that happened like since the last time I think the camera was pulled out. So Kiara now has her IV taken out. She was able to pee. 
um, which pretty much allowed her to get off of IV. And um, she's able to keep pretty much most stuff down. And she still may have nausea a little bit longer, but for the most part, she's good. <clears throat> and uh, what else? Well, the main thing, our child scared the shit out of me and kind of scared Kiara, but it was totally normal and stuff. So essentially, babies that are born vaginally, when they're coming out there, you know, they, they squeeze through essentially. And what happens is a lot of the amniotic, amniotic fluid is in their uh, body. And when they're coming out the womb, the amniotic fluid will be coming out their mouth. And then obviously the doctors will suction all that up out their mouth and stuff. So things with C-section babies though, that doesn't happen. They're not squoles or there's no squeezing happening. So the baby will pretty much at a point throw it up. Like, or, you know, she'll they'll slowly kind of you know, kind of come up a little bit out their mouth with like bubbles. And, but at a point they're gonna have like a good like throw up of it in a sense. Essentially, that's what happened. She was laying in the bassinet and like, I looked away for a second. I'm talking to Kiara, I looked at her. She's pretty much, you know, like bringing all that up. You see like all the amniotic fluid coming out her mouth. It's, it's, it's like quite a bit. And she's also like, like shaking like profusely i'm like what the hell is going on like literally i'm like what the hell like i'm obviously you know i did i pick her up and you know that she started crying and stuff like that and then kiara grabbed her from me and burped her pretty much but pretty much what happened was she threw up like her you know, quite a bit of it <laughs> as well as had her first bowel movement and when you you know when brave babies have a bowel movement they grunt you know they you know, they may struggle quite a bit to do so. So it was a combination of the two, especially when amniotic fluid is still in the baby's uh, system or, in their, you know, coming up the mouth. What will happen is it actually can come up while poop is going out. So that is pretty much what was happening. It scared the shit out of me because it just did not look normal. You know, it's something I didn't expect, some Kiara didn't expect. First big scare that this child of ours gave us, but she's good. She is, uh, She's currently just chilling, again, wrapped up like a burrito. But yeah, she passed, she had her first bowel movement. Kiara uh, gave her quite a bit of colostrum. Um, we'll do some, you know, feeding attempts, which some were essentially successful, which is good, of course. <clears throat> so yeah, but again, if you know, you know, you're um, Say if you're having a child via C-section, expect something like that to possibly happen. Not the same scenario, but just be aware um, that that could happen. Just try not to be alarmed, but it, again, it's a scary situation or the way it seems, but it's not really, truly what it was. All right, so it is uh, 2.42, pretty much 2.45 in the morning. Um, so pretty much 3 a.m. She was born at five, so they're gonna be back in here. I'm not gonna sleep tonight because they're gonna be back from my medicine in an hour and then back to check her blood sugar in two hours. Yep, and she's gonna be crying because they're gonna prick her heel yes. again. But uh, she just did a little colostrum feeding again. Um, she's doing she's doing good, but she's trying to use her nipples as a pacifier. So you gotta keep her attentive and not doing so. Um, but for the most part, she's latching quite well. She's latching good, she just won't. Feed. She right. wants to use them as pathways. Right. But I mean, she's got, she so, got some colostrum. If she doesn't eat by 36 hours, though, I have to give her formula, which means they're probably going to wake me up in the morning and try to pump. So, yeah. I mean, but she got some colostrum, I believe. But, you know, obviously they have to um, yeah, agree or not agree, but just make sure that, oh, yeah, they, you know, they noticed enough that she is um, feeding quite well. So, but she's doing good. Kiara's doing better as well. Um, I don't yeah. say I'm doing like, 80% better. 80%? They took out my IV, which I was really excited about, but then the medicine that I prefer is a shot now, so it's just like, I'll wait for the pill, even though it doesn't work as good. <laughs> yeah.
Um, I don't even, you know, I don't look put together, but you know what? This is how a dad looks. Anyways, hi, it is my birthday. Um, I am 27. I am 17 today. Uh, and we are, most likely, we still have to wait for the pediatrician to come in, but, um, as he's been doing great the whole time and stuff like that, um, as well as Kiara. So Kiara got the okay to get discharged today. It's my birthday. Um, but more importantly, my wife is doing great, and Ezzy's doing great. So that's, oh Jesus, the light of Jesus is behind me, hold on. Yeah, she's just been sleepy weepy this morning, but she's starting to kind of, yeah, she's starting to kind of wake up a little bit. She got, she got fed a little bit this morning, or recently, I think earlier in the day. She got fed more than a little bit this morning, it's just she got fed a little bit recently. Right, yeah, but. Yeah, she gonna be she gonna be crazy later, I bet. So you know, I come back from getting Kiara some uh, lunch meat. Uh, they didn't have any gluten free buns down there, but I had her call and request one. I got the you know corned beef, but this little chica here, you know, Kiara told me like, well, uh, she was over here squirting. It literally, like yeah. you know, how, like if you like shake up the mustard like canister to get like that last little bit, little, little bit out. It's like that intense squirt noise me and then our each other like it came from her butthole yeah and i i mean it's it's still the um the black tacky it's getting less sticky though uh but it was still that but yeah that girl <laughs> <laughs> so um we're playing some white noise but as he holy crap is trippy on camera is under a um photo for, was it funny? Like a. It's light, yeah, it's a, so it's pretty much to help her with her potential jaundice that she she still she doesn't have it, but she's like very close or close enough that you know they would like to do this uh, for her. So um, Kiara pretty much got. Oh Jesus, girl! <laughs> Kiara got her milk drunk. Oh no! Sneezing. Don't. Oh, she's sneezing. Kiara got her kind of milk drunk to where we we're able to get her calm enough to go in there. She has her own little glasses to protect her eyes. Um, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It is literally uh, 5.30 in the morning. Um, expecting to go home today. But, but she's uh, still doing the uh, photo light treatment, whatever it's called. Um, but and she's... It's a Billy Rubin light. Billy Rubin light. It's called a Billy light. Yeah. But I know the level that they're checking for is called Billy Rubin. Yeah. yeah we, even when she's not in here, because she's actually in the nursery area. Uh, she wasn't here doing, the, doing it at first, but we told the nurse to take her in there. So I guess so we could rest up or whatever. But even when she's in there, we still are like, no, we're going to be up a little bit. So um, Kiara feels kind of poopy right now, like kind of having a shiver, stuff like that. We technically could have gone home yesterday, but again, yeah, it was best to stay. Um, overnight to for her to do this treatment yeah for especially for our mental sanity yeah as well as Kiara sorry from slurring but again we haven't been sleeping that well I mean we've been eating okay I guess um but again we're just sorry my camera angle probably sucks to ass right now yeah we're just not 100% at all um but that's what happens you know it, it, being new parents is not an easy feat Hey, honey. Go ahead and tell him. We're going home. We's going home. So let's let's show y'all her going home outfit. It is good. Sorry, just that's a little bit of milk or colostrum, milk, you know, the combination on her lip, and it it's kind of just sticks to her skin. Oop. But yeah, this is a little cute outfit. Yeah, we're going home finally. So obviously very happy. Again, we're both very tired, but again, it's all gonna be better. We're gonna be home. I was joking with Darius. I've never seen him stressed. Like, Darius is not stressed I, out. I'm, I'm annoyingly calm. And he was stressed out. So, this is the light right here. Um, I'll show you guys, actually. Let me cover her eyeballs. Uh, it's unplugged. Oh, it's super, super bright. Um, and last night, she's like, we can take you to the nurse. We can take her to the nursery. Or we can bring the light in your room, but it's super hard to sleep. And I said, okay, like we'll keep her in our room for half the night and then we'll send her to the nursery for the other half the night because Darius is not sleeping. Like Darius was just sitting there like staring at her. 
So I sent her to the nursery for three hours and I woke up and he was still just sitting there. I was like, go to bed. Like, I don't even remember doing that. I remember, maybe I blacked out. I don't know. Cause I thought I slept. But yeah. But anyways, yeah, we're going home. So we're very excited. Again, we just, now it's time to raise her.